I'm a big fan of nature. I really am. Except for under three conditions. One, when they raid my garden and they eat my tomatoes or peck at them, peck at my peaches, eat my blueberries. When birds squawk during my videos, pretty annoying. But probably the worst thing that nature can do is poop on my stuff. And I'm not a big fan of that at all. There's a couple criteria for this build. First of all, it's got to work. Second of all, it's got to be kind of almost invisible because of the covenants. And this really isn't appealing to the house. It's got to be reversible. In other words, for some reason, if it doesn't work or I need to adjust it, I can easily do that. And it's got to be pretty cheap. I'll post up here a solution I came up with for protecting the railings on my decks from getting pooped on. So I'm going to kind of carry that theme through here. I think I'm going to run a fishing line up here. Maybe have to drill a hole in here, drill a hole in here, and we'll just see how it works. So let's get started. For this guy, I've got a ball up here that actually disconnects from the post, so that's good. So i got to clean all this crap off. I could put an eye bolt in here, ultimately, but I'm going to start out with a cable tie, something simple. So all I need to do is put it in here. Oh, by the way, I probably can't mess with this mailbox too much because you want to make sure it's safe for the mail and I don't want to get in any kind of trouble where they give me a fine for using my mailbox or whatever crazy thing it is. This design has evolved a bit as I look more and more into this challenge. Now I've also got a version for a wooden post and I'll show that a little bit later. You can see where the droppings are and I'll clean this off. This I took a 5 30 second drill and drill the hole right there. Originally I intended to just take a nail, you can see this one's been painted up, and then run it through the bottom here, and then have it stick out like this. And then the more I thought about it, the more I started leaning towards just a screw. You can't really paint this screw. I actually used a marker and marked it in, and then hit it with a clear coat, something like this. And I'm not sure that's going to hold up either. And then you can see I markered a nylon lock nut that matches the screw. You want something that sticks out about that far. The reason why is because that way the bird won't be able to perch. Because if you kind of see where all the droppings are, they're just kind of perching right there in the center. And then kind of doing their business. I'm going to clean this off. I'll come right back and we'll start putting in this screw. And the screw is a... Number eight, 32, one and a half inch. Okay, you can see it's all cleaned off. If you had a steel top, here's just a super magnet clip that I put, but this is aluminum, so it doesn't work. The other thing I thought about is some sort of arrangement with some washers and drywall screw there, and you could probably glue that on or run it through the bottom, kind of like what I'm going to do with the screw, and hold it in place. Now, getting the screw in there, it's kind of a challenge. If you have a magnetic screwdriver then that will work pretty well uh, let's see weak force that's going to be a bit of a challenge so what I'm going to use is a bunch of these clamps if you're a builder you really owe it to yourself to get some of these clamps I'll post down below where you, because they're great for stuff like this you could probably choose to make the hole a little bit bigger and it make it a little easier for yourself but I kind of like them tight now that I've got it in there, I can get the screwdriver in there and just screw it in place. I initially had markered that up and put a coating on there, but it just didn't seem to work out too well. That's okay. Now, you could use a regular nut, but I'm going to use a nylon lock nut. How are we doing there? Is it on there? Still a little loose. Get a little bit tighter until it's locked down. And there you go. The top of the ball is finished. So for the wooden post, what I did is I sprayed up nails. I like these spray tops over these spray tops. You can see this one got all gummed up. I've only used this to spray a couple things and then boom, it's not working anymore. So Krylon, even though you give me 25% more, I'm starting to not like you as much and going more and more for Rust-Oleum. Use this egg crate, just push them in like that. That's, egg crates are great platforms for spray painting, by the way. And then spray painted all those guys up. 
And then over here, what we did, as you can see, we got a, a four inch post, which is a typical post that mailboxes go on. And we came in and I just pre-drilled some holes. I just looked for a drill that was about that size so I can just push in these nails. Now, do you have to paint the nails? Of course not. This is what they look like. Two and a half inch finishing nails. You can get a whole bunch relatively cheap. And you could tap those in with a hammer if you wanted. But the whole idea, just like the ball over here, is you give them the much and much less area to perch. And so they'll likely not poop on your post. At least that's what I'm thinking. We'll have to test that design out a little bit. Now mounting to the mailbox has been a bit of a journey. You can see that it's got kind of a slope there. So my original design concept, I didn't want to put a, a hole in the mailbox at all. So I came up with this super magnet. But you can see there's a problem with the super magnet. It's hard to mount on a curved surface. If I was putting it over here, no problem here, no problem. And even though it's super magnet and it would also stay on there, I was concerned that it would probably tip off if I gave it a little pressure. So I decided to go with the number eight screws or these eye bolts, number eight thirty twos, one and five eighths. So I have a couple of designs here I'll, I'll show you. And originally I just liked the loop there and I glued in a nut, this nylon lock nut on the other side and then that will be a nice sandwich in there. And if for some reason it doesn't work, I'll just take one of these screws, shorten it up, and put it in the hole and seal it off so my mail doesn't get rained on. Again, one and a half inch. Same concept, only in this case, I used the super glue. And you got to use the gel. You need a little time for adjustment. So I came up with this design, and then this will be a future video on how to make paint stands. This one will serve me well. So I taped off the bottom here. Put it in the paint stand and now I have the painted version of this after I glued it up. And so you got a little area here to either run the fishing line, line around there like this. But the more I think about it, the fishing line as you can see is kind of rigid. And it will work and it will be pretty transparent. But after a little more thinking and testing, I think I'm going for paddle wire. This is the stuff that florists use. I'll post below where you can get this, this, and any of the supplies. I have a metal post in the back. And how am I going to connect to that? Well, I could make another one of these eyes, make a hole and screw it in here, much like I've done on the wooden post. But I'm not really sure what height I need this thing. Kind of like here, you want to disrupt the perch. You don't want it too high and you don't want it too low. And so I came up with a way where I'm just going to take a 11 inch long black cable tie. And I've got a quarter inch nut here and we'll protect the cable tie. Now it's time to take all this stuff outside, install it on the mailbox and see how it works. Drilled the hole. I'm going to put this guy in. I've slid on the sleeve. And I've made it a little slack so I can adjust it up and down. I'm using a soft pliers. I'll post up there where you can see this build. These things come in handy for all sorts of projects like this. And I'm going to lose my... <laughs> all right, let's not lose that. The hole is about an inch in from the front of the mailbox. Just screw that on there and then... Get a grip with this here, and just start cranking that guy in. Okay, so this guy's nice and tight now. I've started to do the wire. Now all I did is loop it around there twice, and I'm just going to move it out here. Wrap it around a couple times. Now I'm using these flush cut, and I'm also using it on the, the back cable tie. So I'm just going to give myself plenty of that. And then raise it up just a tad. Wrap it around twice and then spin it over. My in-depth study of bird poo indicates that they perch right here at the top of the arch. So if I can get it just right so they feel uncomfortable and both on the side here and the tension right. There you go. Now it's just a matter of putting this guy back on. 
Now, if you had a flat mailbox, I guess you could run a couple lines through here and accomplish the same thing. I'm pretty confident this is going to work, and I'll post down below and a link up here if I do a follow-on video. Thumbs up and comments are always appreciated. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in home repairs, home designs, designs of all kinds, making and breaking things, evaluations of sports gear, the technology, I even do costumes, cosplay, and props. Check out my channel and please subscribe because you never know what you're going to see.